Burgundy, just when you thought sanity has lended itself to uh, the human brain, to the mindset of everyone here in the MFPW, just when you thought it was safe to call yourself mentally stable, this has to happen. You are looking at two of the most twisted, deranged, and psychotic beings to ever step foot in a Monster Factory professional wrestling ring. You know him as Dr. Carl Martin. You know him simply as Nicholas. And together they are unstable. Let's see what the doctor has to say. There is one man to blame for why Nicholas does not have the Monster Factory Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And it, and it is not that coward, savage Soriano. No. It's Abyss. I don't need this from you now because I have greater plans. An abyss, I don't live in the past. I am a forgiving person. What I want for you, abyss, is to travel back and Analyze all the trauma, all the scars. Know why you feel you need to be a monster. Hide behind a mask. But no, no, if you would just follow our unstable treatment, we could give you purpose. Oh wait, Bert, Bertie, that be, he's he here, he is here. I don't believe things till I see him, but I am witnessing it, Bertie. The monster, the legend, the most Violent, decorated superstar in the history of professional wrestling. You know him simply as a fist, and Burgundy, he is here. And 
He is face to face with Nicholas. Oh! Oh! Hey, you know what? He's got Dr. Carl! Yeah, and it is about time! It is about time that that doctor gets what he deserves to no. know! Michelle! Getting Kahoot! Getting Kahoot! Unstable! And now Nicholas driving shoulders! Burgundy, all hell is broken loose here! The MFPW has it, it is completely unstable! Oh no! You see Nicholas, he has that chain! He has that, that, that the music! Brady, tribal fear! Tribal fear! Tribal fear! And the numbers have just oh. gotten even! Soriano, Omen, Gabriel. Could this be a sign of things to come here in the FPW? Could this be a sign of things to come for the unstable? Could this be their no. number of days? Burgundy, we will find out soon enough. Unbelievable. Professional Wrestling. Hello everyone and welcome alongside the silencer Chad Williams. I'm Karan Burgundy. We've got a great night of action for you. Chad, what Un can I say? Unbelievable night of action, Burgundy. That's what you can say. We have middleweight action to start off the gig here tonight, Burgundy. And I am amped. I can't wait to see what happens. Gonna be high flying for sure. And here we go. The following bout is scheduled for one fall. Introducing the combat first from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Weighing in at 170 pounds, Tyga Watson. No stranger to the high rent district, no stranger to middleweight action. The one and only Tyga Watson here to kick things off tonight, Burgundy. And I'll tell you what, He's been trying to make a name for himself here in the MFPW, but he has to contend with one of the most successful individuals to ever step foot in there under the middleweight uh, classification. Well, he's been taking on all comers, that's for sure, and having his struggles as of late with some of the larger opponents, su such as Wrecking Ball Ligurski, such as the Dark Oracle Stage. Now it looks like he's challenging someone a little more, literally and figuratively, his speed. Well, I got one question to ask you, Bernie. Whose hyenas is this? We in at 180 pounds. Flappy board. Hyenas. <laughs> there you see the ever so decorated the ever so animated crowd favorite here. Laughing board, Hyena Hex. I'll tell you what, man, he's looking like a million bucks, but so is Tiger Watson. So this is gonna be a very interesting matchup with two individuals who are not afraid to take high risks, who are not afraid to lay it on the line. Burgundy, if you were a betting man, which judging by that, Terrible shirt you're wearing. You obviously lose a lot of bets, I'm sure. Who would you uh, pick here tonight? Well, actually, I don't make a lot of those wagers, and I'm not going to here either, but we will soon find out who among these two is the top cat here in Monster Factory Professional Wrestling. Well, there you see both men gearing up, getting ready to go one-on-one. -on -one. We have a bell sounding, and ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick off another episode of Monster Factory Professional Wrestling. 
the MFPW for short. Most certainly, you see the handshake there. Great show of respect. Both men tie up. There you see Hyena Hex with a clear height advantage and weight advantage. Whoa, what an innovative way to take a man down. That was so innovative, even the referee was perplexed for a moment there. <laughs> Both men scouting each other and oh, in stereo, the hair flip. I'll tell you what, Burgundy. These two have been doing their homework and it is clearly evident here tonight. There we see Hex now on the receiving end. Of some basic fundamental wrestling and I'll tell you what, Tyga's looking impressive. Maybe has Hex's number. Outsmarting, outwitting. Oh! Ooh, and again. Clutch in the arm, quick one count. Again, very innovative style of both Hex and Tiger Watson. Wow. Up and over goes Hex, and Hex just taking a pause in the corner for a moment. Well, that's a smart maneuver. The, uh, the ring vet, Hyena Hex, has some time over Tiger Watson, has some experience, knows that he has to regroup, recalculate, and, and find a new game plan, because what he was doing was not working, but now what he's doing most certainly is working. And I think it's that size difference, it's the experience that's gonna put a big old W in the books for Hyena Hex tonight. That's my prediction here tonight. You're hearing it first. The sounds are Chaz Williams. Rarely wrong, Burgundy. Well, that's a different discussion for a different day as Hex looking to slow the pace down. And being oh. very effective with it, as I think everybody was expecting that high-flying pace here in the beginning, and only a two. And now that Hex has slowed it down, you can see the effect that it's had on Tiger Watson thus far. Well, very smart observation, Burgundy. Hex realizing that he has to slow down the pace, perhaps realizing Tiger's a little bit faster than him. And oh, insanely vicious backbreaker. Folds. Tyga up like an accordion, we got to cover, and no. Tyga kicks out, and I'll tell you what, Hyena Hex with that ground game, rather impressive. Well, Burgundy, we got to take a break. We'll be right back. Now? Yeah, right oh, now. Man. Yeah, that's right, we'll be right back. We're back here at Monster Factory Professional Wrestling, and we've got middleweight action, Tyga Watson and Hyena Hex, and Watson getting a little bit of separation and charging in with a forearm. We saw before the break that Hyena Hex had this matchup in control, and I'll tell you what, he regained control right there. Very innovative style here in the middleweight division. It is something that you will not get anywhere else other than here in the MFPW, and now a little showboating by Hex. Oh, and drives his own midsection into that lower turnbuckle, and could this be the change in the tide that Tiger Watson needs to capture a victory in this matchup? That remains to be seen as Watson with a couple of forearms. Oh, wow! What momentum on that clothesline. Big European style uppercut has Hyena Hex rocked. And I'll tell you what, if Taiga wants to get a victory, he needs to keep up the momentum. Goes to the corner, up, oh, well scouted. Oh, takes the leg out. And Taiga Watson just had that knee taken right out, wrenched in the middle rope there. Crumpled up in a heap. And now Hyena Hex call for the end, perhaps. Oh! I don't know if he got all of that breaker there. We got a cover, we got a two, and we got a three. He got it, Burgundy! He got him with the first roller, he calls that. The winner of this match, Hyena Hex! Well, one of the greatest things about the middleweight division is if you blink, you might miss something. And had you blinked right there, you might have missed the victory by the one and only Hyena Hex. And man, 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 what a way to kick off action here tonight. Burgundy, still to come tonight, the monster, Abyss, will be in action. He is here. He is in the building, Burgundy. Certainly looking forward to that. Up next, we have two oh, men. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. Asking for a sign of showmanship, perhaps a sign of sportsmanship. We saw it in the beginning. Hope to see it here. I know. There we go. Well, 
it was inevitable that these two were going to be good sports about it. Speaking of the inevitable, we still have Travis Jacobs in one-on-one -on -one action against a classic Eric Martin supersonic action. Burgundy, what a night. Most certainly. Stay tuned here on Monster Factory Professional Wrestling. Burgundy, we're back here, ladies and gentlemen. Monster Factory Professional Wrestling is coming to you. And you heard it, supersonic action, Burgundy. First, the challenger from Skull Rangers, weighing at 260 pounds, the inevitable Travis. Chico. I'll tell you, Burgundy, I'm calling it right now. The only thing inevitable about tonight is that I, the silencer Chaz Williams, believes we will have a new supersonic champion. My prediction for you. Well, you did say you were rarely wrong, and certainly one for one tonight on that. But well, yeah, absolutely, and I'll tell you what. Travis Jacobs looking like a million bucks, but does he have what it takes to get past a true classic? Well, one concern, you see the tape over the right shoulder. And his opponent, from Jacobs. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending supersonic champion of Monster Factory Professional Wrestling, the classic Eric Martin. You know, you made mention of that tape around the uh, shoulder of the inevitable Travis Jacobs, and you call that a concern. Another major concern is a young lion in classic Eric Martin who holds that supersonic championship belt. And I made my prediction, I'm gonna stick by it, but I'll tell you what, he's got a strong, tall task ahead of himself here tonight. Not only does he have to compete with the fact that he has an injured shoulder, but he also has to compete with the fact that he is going against one of the biggest rising stars here in the MFPW in classic Eric Martin. There you see that supersonic title proudly on display. And we are underway, and these two having faced each other a couple of times recently here, no love lost, that's for sure. Pretty evenly matched up in size, wouldn't you say, Burgundy? Perhaps Jacobs with the uh, slight weight advantage, perhaps a little bit more muscular, but the athleticism certainly has to go to Eric Martin. What's gonna win here tonight? Will it be athleticism? Will it be power and brute strength? That remains to be seen. Clean, oh. Tell you what, man, no love lost. For both these individuals, it seems, as Eric Martin showing Travis Jacobs exactly what he thinks of him. Clean break by, and oh! Eye for an eye. Both men again tying up here. I'll tell you, Burgundy, the intensity in both of these individuals says it all. Just the way they are carrying themselves, the way they are treating this matchup. This has big fight written all over it, and Man, it should. It's a supersonic title. Oh, absolutely. Now Jacobs has that arm of classic Eric Martin. Eric Martin. Oh, 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 he had that kip up scouted. Very well scouted. And this is why I'm gonna stick by my predictions, Burgundy. Oh, wait. Head scissor there by Martin. Jacobs able to kick out of it and both men back to square one, eyeing each other up. I'll tell you, man, look at the poker face on Travis Jacobs, not giving him an inch of, of emotion, just putting in the work to get the job done, trying to fight for position, 
is both Eric Martin and Travis Jacobs in this one-on-one -on -one supersonic matchup. Try to get some separation on the waist lock, going for a standing switch, gets it. And there you go, Bernie. What you are seeing there is basic fundamental wrestling. And I'll tell you, man, the sounds of Chaz Williams, I'm a huge fan of that. It tires out your opponent. It takes him off his game plan. All the high-risk maneuvers, all the high-power maneuvers. If you're spent and you, you, ex you exert all your energy trying to get out of a maneuver like that, a basic waist lock, I'll tell you what, man, it could be the thing that changes this matchup. And you see a couple of switches back and forth here. Very scholastic, very... Classic? Classic, yes. Well, maybe this is exactly what Eric Martin wanted. Makes you wonder. This is his, this is his style, this is his sort of fight. Uh, but right now it's looking like Travis Jacobs is uh, slightly ahead of the game. Well, this isn't scored on points. It's about getting that pinfall or submission victory. And yeah, and that can happen at any moment, at any given time. We have a cover, quick cover, two, wow, and just like that, Martin almost walks away with a victory. And now perhaps a little bit of frustration showing itself, rearing its ugly head. And that was in no way an insult to the big man, Travis Jacobs. I would certainly hope not. Yeah, the last thing I want is for him to come over here and have to slap you. Slap me? What? Well, yeah, well, he wouldn't slap me, Bernie. Well, there we see now the big man up and over. Goes over oh. and oh! But no, well scouted, says Travis Jacobs as he's able to get, regain his composure. Oh no, oh, whoa, 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 wow. no! Classic Eric Martin sent to the outside. Burgundy, we gotta take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Back here at Monster Factory Professional Wrestling and just before the break, being shoved to the outside was Eric Martin by Travis Jacobs who is now just skulking over top. This is the most dangerous position to be in. You're able to utilize that ring as a weapon. You have until the count of 10 to get back into that ring. And man, oh man, if I was Travis Jacobs, I would stay outside that ring with Eric Martin and do everything in my power to dismantle the supersonic champion. Well scouted again, cross body cross by the big body. man. Wow, we got a two. Well, oh. you mentioned athleticism, but certainly not lacking on the part of the inevitable Travis Jacobs. Absolutely yeah. not, Burgundy. I'll tell you what, Travis Jacobs taking a, a play or two out of the classics book right now. And, Eric Martin looking like he's in trouble. We got a submission maneuver now, Burgundy. Get. Yes, Martin able to fight his way out of it. Has the legs hooked. Could we be seeing? Could we see him? Get him over. Both men still fighting, and Jacobs able to kick out. What a kick. A classic drop kick by Eric Martin going for the cover. But I don't know if he got all of it in no Burgundy. He was not able to get all of that drop kick. You saw he connected with one of the two feet. And Burgundy, these are the kinds of mistakes, the miscalculations that could cost this kid the supersonic championship. Or it could earn it for him if those are miscalculations on the part of the champion. Well, I'll tell you what, man. One thing that is for certain is that this is what wrestling is all about. And the inevitable Travis Jacobs now just standing dominant over the seemingly lifeless body of Eric Martin. One clothesline sends the man down. That just tells you the power and the strength of Travis Jacobs. There you saw the big elbow by the big man. Go for the pump handle. Could be going for the uh, drop the world. Drop the world. No. Classic kick caught. Scoots him out of the way. Oh! And Eric Martin got tied up in that middle turnbuckle and his head snapped off that apron. The back of his head hit. Oh! Right onto the mat and now the sent on on top of it. And now we've got a cover. Travis this could moment. be his Two moment, no. no! We saw the damage done as Martin's skull just smashed down hard on that mat. And I'll tell you, Travis Jacobs needs to continue with the momentum. He needs to keep fighting. He needs to keep going. And 
Whoa! Again, well scouted by the inevitable one. Big knee sends Martin down, and it is inevitable. Burgundy, I am calling it this is Travis Jacobs' time as he has perched on that middle turnbuckle. Oh! The senton missing this time around. Martin and just able to roll out of the way. Unbelievable sense of awareness despite all of the pain that he has endured in this matchup. That is why this kid is your supersonic champion, but he needs to get to his feet, Burgundy, and he needs to fight back hard. We got a cover, Burgundy. Is that gonna do it? No. No. The cutter, not quite enough. Classically executed, but not enough to get the job done. And now the inevitable Travis Jacobs back to his feet, trying to fight his way back into this high profile matchup here tonight for the Supersonic Championship. Both men flips over. We got a cover. Flip. One. One. We got two. two. It's going to do it. No. Classic kick, Burgundy. Cover. Right on the money two and, and three. three. He got it. Here's your winner. And still, the Supersonic Champion of Monster Veteran Professional Wrestling, the classic Aaron Martin. This was a matchup that saw two of the rising brightest stars in the MFPW fight back and forth, toe to toe, for what you are seeing right there, that Supersonic Championship. And at the end of the day, Burgundy, well, the picture says it all. Your winner, Classic Eric Martin. And just that little bit of savvy workmanship. Jacob's not expecting that classic kick to go low, used to it going high. Yeah. And you heard the connection, and Jacob's was out. Absolutely, Burgundy, and you heard Stu as he announced you're still supersonic champion. Impressive showing here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, still to come, the Monster Abyss is back here in the MFPW, and he will go one-on-one -on -one with Nicholas. That is still to come. Back here at Monster Factory Professional Wrestling, and Oh, the following look at this battle is scheduled for one fall. Introducing the combatants. First, being accompanied to the ring by Kenny Cahoon and Michelle. The following competitor is under the care and supervision of Dr. Carl Martin. Representing Unstable, this is Nicholas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing is the most tormented, deranged, psychotic, twisted, vile, despicable display of human existence that I have ever witnessed in the unstable Burgundy. Call them what you will. These men, under the watchful, quote unquote, eye of Dr. Carl Martin, have inflicted more pain and damage than I have ever seen, but you hear that music, and I'll tell you what, the odds are about to turn back in the favor of the MFPW. And his opponent, from Impact Wrestling, weighing at 350 pounds, the Monster Abyss! You heard it there all the way from Impact Wrestling. The Monster Abyss Burgundy. Can you believe your eyes? They're certainly playing tricks on me to say the least. It's, you able to hear me here? It's so loud in here. I'm, I can hear you loud crowd. and clear, Burgundy. But what's even more of a concern to me, and I never thought I'd say this, but the well-being of Unstable. We know what Abyss Wait, is what? capable of. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first, Burgundy. We know what Abyss is capable of. He is violent by nature, man. This is a beast to be reckoned with. We have seen him here from time to time. You know him to be one of the most decorated athletes across the globe in professional wrestling. And he is here tonight to make a statement that 
the, uh, the antics of the unstable will no longer be tolerated. And the size of this man says it all. Nicholas seeming almost unfazed by the monster. There you see both Titans locking up and Abyss just outpowering. Well, well I'll just, I'm just gonna call him the freak, Nicholas. Be careful, don't, don't, get, don't let him uh, get within earshot of that. Well, I'll tell you what, with, it, with Abyss by our side here, fighting for not just himself, but perhaps everyone in that locker room in the MFPW, I have confidence now, a restored sense of confidence that things will finally be balanced here in the MFPW. That just goes to show words that you had said there, words seldom said, outpowering Nicholas. And yeah, Nicholas is a, is a monster in his own right. But now both, oh, both men fighting back and forth for position. And now, oh no, Kenny Cahoon distracting the miss. Whoa! Kenny Cahoon told you are out of here. You are out of here. I told you, Burgundy. Balance being restored before our very eyes, and now Michelle. Whoa! Oh, Michelle, Michelle is out. out too. Michelle is out of here. That is what we like to see, Burgundy. Michelle slowly. And oh no! While the back of Abyss was turned, Nicholas cheap shotting, and now taking the fight to the monster. And I'll tell you what, man, Nicholas has got to give it everything he's got in the tank. If he wants to gain a victory against the Monster Abyss, both men inflicting punishment and damage, and now those chops by the Monster Abyss. Whoa! Man, Burgundy! Have you ever seen anyone handle Nicholas in the capacity that Abyss is doing? And now, can we see a choke slam? Oh, wait a minute. Dr. Carl Martin now distracting Abyss. Oh, oh no, my come goodness. on! You gotta be kidding me. Low blow, cheap shot. Nicholas with that cheap shot. Referee didn't see it, and now being distracted by Dr. Carl. Could this spell the end for the monster abyss? Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta take a quick break. We will be right back. Back here at Monster Factory Professional Wrestling, the heavyweight title on the line. Burgundy, are you living on another planet? Do I need to have Dr. Carl see you? No, the heavyweight title is not on the line. You have two. No, we just have two massive heavyweights looking for their supremacy here. Yeah, well, right now, I'll tell you what you should be looking at is the fact that the referee is being distracted, and Carl, Dr. Carl Martin was able to then just choke Abyss. And I'll tell you what, man, the referee has gotten rid of Getty Cahoon. She, she's gotten rid of, 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 of Michelle. But why is Dr. Carl Martin still allowed to be at ringside? Well, because of the care and supervision, and you're right, the distraction even getting a hold of me here, apparently. Well, it is complete anarchy and chaos here in the MFPW. And during the commercial break, Nicholas able to gain advantage of this matchup against the Monster Abyss. And now, again, with the playing, oh! Those stiff shots right to the skull of Abyss. Dr. Carl Martin perhaps trying to treat a new potential patient. And I'll tell you what, man. We're, we're not used to seeing Abyss in this kind of position. And now Nicholas laying the boots to Abyss. Could it be a victory here tonight that finally treats all that's plaguing the mind of Nicholas? We see Abyss slow to get up. Never mind, Spear, no! Caught right on the throat, Burgundy! Couple of clotheslines now by Abyss. And now, Abyss. Ready to make work of the freak 
Nicholas, and now again, Carl, choke, slam. choke slam. But Carl Martin distracted the referee. Press. We got a two. One, we got two, a three. three. We got a four. four. We got a five. We got a six. We, we could have counted all night, Burgundy. This is not how you want to see this match go down. And now, will Dr. Carl Martin finally get the prescription he needs? And he does as Nicholas sends his doctor to the ER. And now, Abyss calling for the end. Has him up. Big one hand to choke slam. Goes for the cover. We got a one. We got a two. And we go. Oh, kicking out. Nicholas kicks out. Man, oh man. The action here is insane. What a night. What a main event. The Monster Abyss. I thought he had the match won. And now we see Michelle on Michelle. ringside. We see Michelle. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is going? Oh, come on. The referee. What is in that sack? Getty Cahoon passing off chain. the chain. No. Michelle, Getty Cahoon. Oh, Abyss gets rocked with that chain. Referee completely unaware. Nicholas rolls over Abyss. He's got a cover burgundy. No. No, no! And Come Abyss on. kicks out! Abyss just kicked out. He is now in the fight for his life. Nicholas now setting up, perhaps for that spear. Oh! Black hole slam! That's gotta do it, Burgundy! We got a one, we got a two, and whoa, whoa, come on! Unstable now, pulling the ref out. Wait we have lost our control. Fear. Gabriel, Omen, the numbers have just evened up as they are taking the fight to Cahoon and Michelle. We have ourselves complete chaos. No! Never mind Spear. Never mind Spear, we one, got a cover. We two, got a two, no, no, we, we got, got three. three. Man. The winner of this match, Nicholas! I cannot, I never thought in a million years I would say or hear the words that Stu has just uttered. Burgundy, the winner of your match, Nicholas, not Opis. Well, I think what was in my mind earlier regarding the heavyweight title, long before Nicholas was under the care and supervision of Dr. Carl, Abyss had gotten the victory and beat Nicholas for the heavyweight title yeah, well, a while ago. That was history, and I'll tell you what, you just witnessed history here tonight as Nicholas defeats the legend, the monster Abyss. I'll tell you what, man, the monster gave it his all. What a main event, what a night of action. Burgundy, I'm spent, man. You and me both. Looking forward to seeing what happens next week here on Monster Factory Professional Wrestling for the silencer, Chaz Williams. Everybody give Burgundy. it up for Abyss! Thank you for tuning in. And I promise you now, this is not the last time you're going to see a fist here. Cause my monsters are real